people in other religions. We have a covenant bond in that name that guarantees access and delivery in prayer. So I call it covenant code of access and delivery. Very important in your private prayers. You can groan on the mountain for 10 days, for 40 days, and gain no access. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. When I did the prayer guidelines at a time that we put in the name of Jesus, I said, this is ready to go prayer items. Because some just forget it. But minus the name, prayer is laboring fertility. Sit down, please. Good morning, everybody. John 14, verse 13 and 14. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, in my name, access, that will I do delivery, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Double emphasis. If you ask anything in my name, access is secured. I will do it. Delivery is guaranteed. Amen. <laughs> don't ever, don't just say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what makes it his name. Amen. Amen. John 16, 23 and 24. And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Jesus speaking. Very, very nice. And to you, whatever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. In my name, delivery guaranteed. Either to have you ask me nothing, ask nothing in my name, ask now in my name, oh, and you shall receive. That your joy may be full. Now, those two scriptures establishes the covenant dimension of the name of Jesus Christ in prayer. <laughs> All demonic installations know that when you bring in the name, they become helpless. Because the anointing on that name goes forth. That's why Christ is mentioned. In the name of Jesus, the anointed one. What are you doing there? Now wait. From now. And throughout this coming week. And all through these 40 days. You are stepping out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stepped into a day of triumph. Today. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. No issues. In my family today. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blessings loaded into this day for me are delivered. For he daily loaded out with benefit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today is a, the day the Lord has made. I shall rejoice all through today and be glad. You have secured the day. Colossians 3, 17. You know, the covenant hour of prayer is a school of prayer. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Whatever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Man. Whatever you do, you get to your business place here am I today in the name of Jesus Christ. A day of great profiting. A day of sweatless breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's more than three hours of prayer without the name. One, your three hour prayer has no access. And there is no guaranteed delivery. So it's just labor and fertility. Please, it's not a religious conjunction in prayer. The name of Jesus Christ. Then you go. 
That is the key to a word of answered prayers. Come and say, I receive it. I receive it. It threatened the whole of the authorities in Jerusalem. Speak no more in this name. King Lode. <laughs> Stop tormenting us with this name. You know why the gift and the callings of God are without repentance? Um, the Bible said, He has given me a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. <laughs> And that every tongue should throw salute. What are you doing there in the name of Jesus? And bow out. <laughs> and Romans eleven twenty nine, 29, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. So after Elisha died, the anointing on him was working because the gift and the callings of God are without repentance. They threw a dead body into a sepulchre, and when it touched the dead, dry bones of Elisha, it revived. How stood up on his feet and went home. <laughs> How much more Hallelujah. the gift of God upon his son Jesus. Man. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So there's a river of life flowing now through you. Amen. 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 It is the name you use to turn the tap. And then it flows. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Biblical requirement towards encounters with the resurrected Christ. How many are experiencing some encounters right now? Amen. Amen. You better do. <laughs> the first week is running. It's going off. What are the biblical requirements for securing encounters with the resurrected Christ at this time? Because it's all over the places right now. Amen. Amen. I've had a bit of share of that this week. Glory to God. We've been going about together. <laughs> it's been opening things to me. One of them is what you heard this morning. It releases your prayer life for impact. Amen. Amen. So no matter how hard you pray in tongue, it has no access. The access is in the name. The name is what gives the tongues access. <laughs> Glory to God. It's the name that gives the tongue access. You, or you don't think that Jesus knows about new tongues? He say in my name, they shall take or they speak with new tongues. Yes. So he knows about it. <laughs> He's the one who sent the Holy Ghost to come. But what must I do to secure an encounter with the resurrected Christ? You must be joyful always. You must be joyful always. You must be joyful always. Psalm 16 and verse 11. The Bible says. Thou will show me the part of life. For in thy presence is fullness of joy. And on your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So it takes joy to assess. The part of life. And Jesus showed himself alive with many infallible proofs, speaking to them of things pertaining to the kingdom of God. So he shows us the part of life, but joy is required to assess his presence, to secure his encounter, where he shows us the part of life. I went on a separation. Just one day, I think, one afternoon to be with the Lord. And uh, I was smiling and having a good time. And as I took my Bible, he said, 
I'm committed to leading you if you are committed to following me. October 1, 1983. I went to one youth camp and sat up there just beholding his face and rejoicing his presence. As I took my Bible, I was in the book of Isaiah and I read from Isaiah 47 and verse 48 verse 17. And thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I'm the Lord, thy God, that teacheth thee to profit, that leadeth in the way that thou shouldest go. He said, I am committed to leading you if you are committed to following me. I don't lead Jack and Harry. I lead only those who are committed to following me. I said, thank you, Jesus. I think I'm going home now. <laughs> Rejoicing in his presence. Glory to God. You are not singing now. You are not clapping. You are just rejoicing in his presence. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. One day, I have forgotten the date precisely, but December 1987, I went before the Lord to just be in his presence. <laughs> and I was there. And he said, my son, I'm pleased with you. What? But what have you brought for me? I was alone there with him. Sweet encounter. That encounter changed my life in an unforgettable manner. That was where I vowed my salary to Jesus. Because I couldn't find anything that I have that could be, make any meaning. That was the last month in my life I earned a pay from this ministry. Oh, what a glorious time. That can't be by anybody's arrangement. It was a solid, vivid visitation. See what the Lord has done. Let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Let's be thankful unto him and bless his name. We can't secure an encounter with God without joy and rejoicing. Therefore rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice evermore. 1 Thessalonians verse 5 verse 16. Chapter 5, verse 16. Number two, one must keep engaging in praise. We all know that. That God inhabits the praises of his people. Psalm 22, verse 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabited the praises of Israel. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the toe. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I was filled with the spirit of praise. July 19, 1989. I was in the bathroom and just celebrating Jesus early morning. Arise, get down to Lagos and raise me a people. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O God? Arise, get down to Lagos, raise me your people. He just showed up in the bedroom while the environment was created to receive him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See what he has made out of that today. What he, God, who commanded it, has made out of it. Some people that lack this understanding may say, you know, the bishop had to leave the north and came down to the south because um, there was a religious uprising in the north. Sir, there was no devil that could move me out of that place. No. No. The commander-in-chief, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, just showed up. Arise, get down to Lagos, raise me your people. 
Uh, no, it didn't waste no time. Within two weeks, we got all the facilities we needed. And see where we are today. Somebody will encounter Jesus. Amen. In an unforgettable manner. Amen. If you are the one, let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. And because God can manifest himself to us at any time, And anywhere, it's important to stay on the watch. It's important to stay on the watch. Including the altar of sacrifice. Including on the altar of sacrifice. The Lord came down to Abraham twice. On Mount Moriah, on the altar of sacrifice, on the altar of sacrifice. Hold it, lay not your hand on the Lord. And he said, Look up here. And he saw a ram caught in the ticket. Yeah. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And then the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. So the altar of prayer, the altar of sacrifice is an altar of divine encounter. An altar of divine encounter. <laughs> I shared that with us during the week that Jesus made a demand on one thing that was important to us. Give me that thing. And then I told my wife, she said, praise the Lord. And so it left. Same day, my son David, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. And because whatever I tell me, secret, I shout on the house talk. I told them the next service. That I heard Jesus say to me today. I didn't tell them what happened. But I told them what Jesus told me. Same day. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> if you don't want to be this, it's too late. I could imagine some of the people winking their nose. Whether the nose turned or not, I don't know. But what Jesus told me is here today. No one in my generation for life will be mistaken for poor. Show me a man that fears the Lord and greatly delights in his commandment. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the oppressed shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness will endure forever. No plane of pranks. And that's what will happen to your family. Amen. So the quality of your covenant work today does not stop with you. It imparts on your generations after you. It imparts on your generations after you. That will be your experience. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There shall be mighty appearances today. Amen. There shall be awesome appearances today. Amen. And he appears by his word all of the time. He just steps in and delivers to you a directive. Delivers to you an instruction. Delivers to you what you don't know about you. And about where you are heading. Glory to God. I must confess this to you. I, the name Lagos I hate. Because the horse and boss, I'm not used to that. We came here one time to do some little shopping uh, before our wedding and they gave us a ticket where we parked and they wrote on it, we are parking at your own risk. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to this kind of life. <laughs> that means you are not sure of meeting this guy when you come <laughs> And then you want to jump, I mean, you board the bus, you run. You want to come down, you, you, the bus will move, you have to come down, <laughs> or you are going to the next place. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm very used to a quiet life. So, <laughs> that day I vowed that I will have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Amen. 
But when Jesus came and gave his command, I trashed my view and followed his instruction and see where it has brought us. Praise God. Whatever no man can make you do, can not make you do, whatever any man cannot make you do, Jesus will deliver instructions to you during this season that will pave the way forward in all areas of concern in your life. In the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet, everybody. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. Lift up your hands and give him thanks. Giving thanks unto the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, give your Father thanks using the name of Jesus. Giving thanks to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Now, listen. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. This is the kind of time we know that. Some members of your cell need attention. They don't even have a phone. They can't call anybody. It's an opportunity to reach out to them. Your cells are within your neighborhood. They can't lock down your door. So check on them. You call them on the phone, you can't get You don't know whether somebody has gone to collect their phone. Reach out to them. The church emergency operation is on and responses are instant. So please take advantage of it. But if your brother is in need and he comes to you, don't tell him, be warm. You give him some things as he needs. As you are able as you are able. God never puts anyone under pressure. As God has blessed everyone, even so, let him give. Please be part of the joy of others to prove the sincerity of your love. Be part of the joy of others. Those who may not be able to reach us through any means, but you know them. You have been in fellowship together. Praise God. Praise God. Everyone will come out of this transformed Amen. and transfigured Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please call members of your service group. Find out how they are doing. Call up fellow members. Call up your new convert. Keep busy for Jesus. Spiritual emptiness is a risk. Keep busy for Jesus. Keep busy for Jesus. Make a kingdom project of this season. Glory to God. Stay actively engaging. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he goes about in dry places seeking rest. When he found none, he said, let me return back to where I was before. And then he took seven more wicked spirits than himself. He found a place swept, garnished, but empty. I said, ah, let's reinforce so that I can't be cheaply chased out before as I was before. Spiritual emptiness is a risk. Please engage. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the time to engage in praying intensive kingdom advancement prayers. You have our kingdom advancement prayers, intercession outlines out on the website. You have your copies if you have not lost them. This is the time to engage with them. And you shall be openly rewarded. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And don't forget, lavishly share our various channels of transmission with friends, neighbors, colleagues at work. And in the name of Jesus, watch out for the visitation of the resurrected Christ as you keep busy for him. Amen. Lift up those two hands, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing service tomorrow is your own. Glory to God. Lift up those two hands. And 
Engage the name of Jesus as you open up the day. The day is declared open. Declared open for diverse encounters. For diverse encounters. In Jesus' precious name. Please, the Youth Alive prayer chain is on. Let all our youths get connected as we have it. Can you put it on the screen, please? So that you can be part of this kingdom advancement army in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you do from now, all through, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the Father through him. Anything and everything you do, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you the day is declared your day. Amen. It's a day for, for your family. Amen. It shall be good news only. Amen. Good news always. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 